sure. No, I'll just wait here. I'll just wait here. I'll, I'll be fast. Uh huh. I'll just wait here for good old Crane Eyes Johnson. Oh, I flipped it. Oh, God. <laughs> they are trapped by this system. Oh, this Jesus this is peak theme park. They can't leave. Impalas glued together. Yeah, it's it's a it's a lot of impalas. <laughs> okay. All right. So, depending on how oh, this car Jesus goes. Christ. All right. deputy again hello this is mr tanks of blank pant legion comma internet indeed we are listening to the generic guitar riffs of smithville dam michigan in snow runners uh, once more cj in the legion and zenthar in the legion both worked very much to help me unlock the russian artillery tractor which i now have and we need to get some metal beams to island lake wherever in the holy fuck that is and we are still somehow in Michigan. I I suppose next up we'll have to fix Wisconsin. <laughs> we gotta we gotta do our tour of fixing America. Yeah, yeah, we gotta, yeah, yeah. We gotta build back dumber. Isn't that isn't that our infrastructure plan? Build back dumber? Indeed. We're not really good at this. So you said you went on the Reddit for this game. Yes. The 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 Reddit the Reddit. Indeed. And I, I have found the meta. The meta. The meta. You found the meta. The okay. meta. The meta. All right. And and what is the uh, what is the meta? I won't tell you. You're not going to tell me. You <laughs> will show you. Okay. You will show me. Is this where you're just like, all right? You know what? Yes. I'm just gonna sit here and put my handbrake on. You know? Oh no 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 no! I don't do well under under pressure. <laughs> no, no, I'm just gonna, let's go for the handbrake on and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit here with a handbrake, you know, just, just on and I've got my vehicle parked. I've got my Russian artillery tractor just parked here and I got my flatbed on the back. Yeah. And, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. Easy, easy. Uh, so question that has come on up and it says, uh, Depp and Tex, baked potato or sliced baked potato. I'm a baked potato guy. Absolutely. Or are they asking us, are we baked potatoes? I am not currently baked, no. I am a potato. Alright, so if we're if we're gonna do this, then uh we gotta that's right. I was gonna say, man. Uh the best meta is service truck. We know this. And uh, I just saw you spawn a, a Jeep. Yep. A Just a standard Jeep. <laughs> yep. All right. So we have to go get <laughs> yep. things <laughs> from oh, yeah. a place. And you're, you're like, I'm going to take me a Jeep. I am taking so a we, Jeep, yes. Okay. So we need to get some metal beams, which yeah. are over at the warehouse. We're going right? to get them. 
Uh huh. So we have to get some beams over at the warehouse. Why do I feel I'm going to hate this? All right. So we're going to get some beams at the warehouse. And I'm going to take the cool road because I just have murder truck 9000 and I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm just going to go this way and that way. And I'm going to go there and there and there. I'm just plotting a course. I'm going to go get me some metal beams, which memes cannot melt. And then we're just going to take running, you know. Indeed. And and I'm I'm gonna get me the beams. The beans. The beam memes. Beams there it is. memes. I thought there was a roof right. rack for this thing. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna sit here with my vehicle and wait while you do your meta. Your meta tippy truck. <laughs> don't don't bully me. I'm going to bully that piece of shit right off the planet because of all the vehicles that deserve to be crushed into a ball that are in this game. That truck's up there. That thing is useless. It is less than useless. It's like a tattoo of a tattoo of a tattoo. It is hyperbole. That vehicle is the definition of hyperbole. I used to think it was the BMW X3. Which is, I guess, the definition of gaslighting giving form. But it, no, it is that. Tippy truck. Tippy truck, to me, is the definition of hyperbole in an off road vehicle. <laughs> I'm sorry you feel that way. Tippy truck, the Kojima of trucks. I'm trying to figure out this roof rack. I know there's a way to... Ah, yes. Oh, Let us know. raise the center of gravity on Tippy Truck. Well, I'm actually trying to remove it. I put it on there. I know that it's removable. You've made you've made Tippy Truck heavier no, on the it's, top. It's not and as you know... It's not exterior stickers. As we know, a good, a good truck has a gangster lane. <laughs> And yards of suspension travel. Yeah, yeah. So those are tires. I hate Tippy Truck. <laughs> Why do you hate Tippy Truck? Well, it's it's not a good vehicle. Am I it's missing this chat? <clears throat> I, you know, okay. <laughs> Chat, let us come up with some really good names for Tippy Truck. <laughs> Just say, here's all you have to say is, Tippy Truck, Tippy Truck, colon, the only truck that blank. Just come up with the rest. It's it's a it's a Mad Libs. I'm giving all of you Mad Libs to play with. Tippy Truck, blah. Just fill that in based on what you've seen Tippy Truck do so far. And I, I, I think you'll understand why Tippy Truck is bad. There, handled. Now it's interactive. So I've got this artillery tractor that weighs yeah. about 46,000 tons. Yep. And I'm just going to, my guy is sitting here napping. So, okay, what is the next, I'm watching this happen. I just, I am having a nap. I'm having a nap. I'm telling yeah, okay, you, tip, I don't do well under pressure. Tippy truck, the most me. honorable way to outperform a slinky. Tippy truck, just why? Thank you, uh, Battle Pumpkin. Tippy Truck, gravity always wins. <laughs> Tippy Truck, direction of gravity is merely a suggestion. Tippy Truck, the only truck more unstable than the U.S. government. Oof. Tippy Truck, just roll with it. Tippy Truck, the truck that makes your battery die. <laughs> Tippy Truck. Converting fuel to uh, rollovers at peak efficiency. The tippy truck wobbles, but they also fall down. Those are all pretty all right. good ones. Yeah, they're all clever. So why is tippy truck over... What is this? Okay. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Now, are you going to do the early coiler treatment? It's the truck self recovery system. Are you are you going to do the early coiler treatment and do truck boat trunk with like a trailer in the middle? Or what is the plan here? 
Oh no. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Deputy, I'm a professional. Don't worry. Deputy went on Reddit to read <laughs> the meta. Reddit helped Deputy understand the meta. So <laughs> this is what meta looks like. If you were curious. <laughs> Tippy truck. Center of gravity is a zip code of way. That's how it goes. All right, so I'm seeing a game of cranes. Tippy truck. You know, this crane really needs a light or something. You know, it, it seems like you shouldn't be doing this. But hey, don't worry about it. That's not going to stop you. It never has. No, no, you, it is not. You live in that coffin corner of bad ideas and poor judgment. And that, my friend, is a dangerous corner when you use power tools. <laughs> now, why, what is going on? Hold on, i got to switch to tippy truck. Why? Why is this... Symphony of Harm <laughs> playing out. All right, I'm. There's a reason this is difficult, <laughs> Deputy. The Jeep. Not the Jeep. Oh no. That would be terrible. Not the Jeep. The Lord of this game is whatever you can come up with. I this is a world in which some terrible apocalypse has unfolded simultaneously everywhere and is solved by very bored looking people <laughs> driving construction equipment. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Put Jeep in garbage. <laughs> All right, so No, the Jeep is fine. You know, I'm thinking of just driving on with my vehicle, which is fully functional, while you're, uh, you know, doing your meta. Yeah, it's... Hold on. No, no, go ahead with your meta. I would love to see. This is this is why I don't like Reddit. Because they, they go, it's easy. All you gotta do it, and that's how you end up with methanol instead of ethanol. <laughs> this is... You're not this wrong. Is, uh, this is a symphony of stupid done by people. The, like the biggest, dumbest things I have seen in my life. Oh, have been happened done. on Reddit. No, it's it's just the power of people who think they're smart in large groups are more destructive than any group of morons. People who believe they are intelligent, who firmly go, I am smart and I am an expert because I've read Wikipedia. The power of that in mass through upvotes manifests in stupid ways. So when people are like, well, I read the Reddit and I know the meta, I'm like, this is this is just not good. I'm not liking it. You're not? I think it's going to work out well. I'm just waiting for you to just have, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is the objective here? To rest it on that crane? Uh, no, to rest it on the cab top that will actually apparently pack into that no. little... Yeah, into the little basket. No. No. <laughs> so, wait. You're gonna pack that Jeep into that basket. Yeah. So, when I roll over, uh, I have a vehicle with me that can pull me back over. Okay. So, the way to fix Timmy truck is to add another truck. Another slightly more competent truck. I told you I don't do well under pressure. No, I'm just, I just wanted to make sure that, again, the phrase, we did it, Reddit stood for something. I just wanted to make sure that that phrase wasn't being impugned by improper use or degraded or genericized in any way. No, uh, it, well done. Well done, Reddit. Uh, this meta is strong. And, uh, all right. Yeah, just let's add some more truck. So, do you need help with this? No, I is got this, it. Uh, I was just going to say. I. Yep, I, nope, it's on there. 
what I don't like I don't like that I I why Oh, I gotta be running. All right, I'm backing up. I'm coming over there with this tractor. No, we're fine. Don't no, worry no, about me. No, no, I'm coming over there because I want to know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm just putting light on the situation there. <laughs> You got a lot of sin sitting there. Not looking good, that sinful appearance. Yes, sir, just sitting here watching this happen. I I don't know what in the motherfuck you think you're doing, but it's something. It is... How? How is this? I mean, I'm just going to sit here and burn a billion gallons of diesel. I don't care. Driving the Monster Mash 9000 Zeke's thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this looks bad. <laughs> this does look bad. I don't think this is a very good meta. It This meta seems, again, uh... <laughs> You know, you see I just, how fucked up the Jeep is, and I haven't even driven anywhere yet. Man, you, 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 <laughs> you, your, your, your metas are great. All right. So now that I've watched two cranes ruin one Jeep, two cranes, one Jeep, a tippy truck story, and the truck has been, you know, and will be forever <laughs> positively associated with this experience. Uh, I was right. thinking maybe... You know what? We, we tried. Could, we, we tried, Reddit. <laughs> All right, let's... If somebody else, you know, will tell me, oh, you fucked it up, yeah, probably. I know. It's all right. There's probably some way to do it one patch. <laughs> and or someone just, like, pranked you. They're like, oh, you can stack them, like, 30 high. No, there's there's a lot of pictures of people carrying, like, a scout fuel trailer on their cab. That's cool. Well, I'm going to go drive my truck that works uh, down the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm going to go get some metal beams. I'm going to go get them from steel the getting dreams. store. You know, I'm going to say this, man. Don't let your memes be dreams. Uh, no. Lost bags delivered to Tim's house. Cement times four. Cement times four. Yeah. Is that what we're doing? Uh, no, I'm doing power lines. Metal beams. Power That's lines, the one metal I'm doing. beams. Okay. Yep. Uh-oh, here comes the mud. Now, be careful when you turn. Sometimes trucks roll over. I'm watching your stream to mm -hmm. see what happens. Just be careful, Tippy Truck. Follow the ruts of the giant truck. I don't know. I, I really don't think Smithville Dam has enough verticality to fuck with this truck too much. Alright. That sounds like a very bold statement. <laughs> you're gonna be... No, that's the problem, is you're just gonna be like... You're just gonna sit there. And again, I think I just heard it on my end. I'm not sure... No, on your end it was captured fine. But on my end, I didn't hear the laugh. So, <laughs> I made my statement. You laughed, and all I heard was the... Ah! Like, for years, on my end in recording, I thought I was losing my mind or very unfunny as I tried to say many jokes, and all I would ever hear is, eh! That's all that was ever captured. <laughs> oh, man. I think what it is is uh, Discord's noise cancellation doesn't like my, my laugh. Well, I mean, yeah, that's possible. Discord doesn't like a lot of things. Let's see, it's... Yeah, G for Gahorn. G for Gahorn. Well, 
Look, there's the thing we made. We made it. Yeah. Why are you pulling me? <laughs> I'm not. You're why pulling you... me. I'm. I. <laughs> why are you doing that? Does your weak ass vehicle have insufficient torque? No, it's got insufficient gas. I'm a quarter of the way through it. What? How? How? How is that possible? I mean, I got more on the roof, but I don't want to break into. Oh you know, my god! Break into my like, reserves. Uh... Okay, I will drag you if you want. No, no. No, if you want to save some money by switching to Geico, <laughs> I can I can drag you down the road. We're doing we're doing power lines. Start tracking the power lines. I am on the same page finally. All right, so I've I've had to lay my my uh my path through the 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 thing to grab the stuff. Yeah. So it's going to be a perilous path. Perilous, you, you say? Ready? Perilous. Perilous. Dreadfully perilous. Alright, let's do this. For America and Michigan. What? Two way America? Bore. Two way bore. That means this will defend. Indeed it does. For those, of, for those of you who do not understand what we're talking about, Far Cry 5 with a cop was this series where Deputy and I just started hanging out, and I thought it would be a one-off. And over the course of shooting that series and arguing with it, we became friends. That was like the series where we really, quite literally, went from like bromance to friendship. Yeah, like we on we'd that talked one. some before that and realized that it was something that could work. But yeah, because that's how it is. Someone comes up with an idea and we'll just do it. But we started watching those fucking cop videos. And there's some good ones. Um, so much so that we've had people in the aux be like, dude, I saw that fucking squat shoot video and I'm like a pis pistol instructor and I've <laughs> seen that shit, you know? Like people gladly pointing out where the conflicts of our memes in the real life, you know, oh, yeah. interacts. Well, and we, we um, love putting little things like that in there where there is that interaction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's Mr. there's Tex, there's a lot of I have lost yeah. you and I am scared. Well, I have gone around the corner. You're gonna need to keep going. Are you still on the concrete? Yeah. Okay, then I'll catch up. And it's continuing down the road. I could have looked at my map, but fuck that. Well, I think if you looked at your map, that truck would go down the mountain at five hundred miles an hour. I stopped to grab that trailer. We won't need it, but I did grab it. <laughs> yes, a trailer. This will help. I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit here with my artillery tractor and leave. I'm just gonna drive my truck. Mr. Tex, are we there yet? No, we are in fact not there yet. We are not there yet at all. <laughs> Learn this gas saving trick. The gas stations don't want you to know. Oh. Well, I think that's wrong. You shouldn't use my gas or be pulled by my stuff. That's that's mine. But yeah, the so I have something for Sniper Elite with a cop that's really good. Um, I have some World War II instructional film with Sniper Elite for a cop. I just, I'm not sure how people would react if they'd want to see us go over some of the uh, hilarious World War II instructables I've found, including part one and part two of how to uh, start a B-17. <laughs> like, the full how to start, idle, take off in a B-17. Like, all the steps. And they're like, not so fast, Joe. You need to... Go through these 17 steps to make sure this dynamo is running or you'll burn to death. And it's, it's every step is like 50 toggles and 16 mnemonics to remember how things work. Well, naturally, I mean, we don't have mnemonics and what do you really have other than friendship? Friendship's the first casualty. I learned that in EVE Online. What's the weakest ship in the fleet? friendship <laughs> that's why I was a fleet commander 
They're like, what what are you going to do? And, oh, you, you're going to be favorable to your friends. I'm like, nope, I will put them right in the front line and grind them down first so they can go play D&D. &D. <laughs> They're like, hey, guys, I have to show up for this fleet fight, but I have a game in an hour. And I'm like, no problem. You're in scouting one. Here you go. Get on the board. Very nice. All right, we're going to go down the road, and we're going to get some of this, uh... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh uh -oh. what? Uh-oh what? She got a little floppy there. She got a little floppy there. That four-wheel steering ain't gentle. All-wheel drive all the time. That's the reason why I'm oh. sucking down gas, is this thing is doing six by six on concrete. That is good. Six by six on concrete. Or excuse me, eight by eight. I can't believe yeah, you that's... took that thing across that bridge. I drive everything across everything. CJ once drove up an area and he was like, Tex, this Jeep, is, this is a Jeep thing. You can only drive this through there. And I drove the Western Star through there just to prove it. Now it took me 45 minutes, but I got it through. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm a smart man, but by God, I fucking did it. All right, we're just going to cruise down the road. I'm going to swing a left here. Ah, we okay. see Tex once more. Yep, I'm just cruising. I've been holding the gas down, trying to hope that you're behind me at some point. Yeah, I am. I, I ditched the trailer coming up the hill because it was really weighing me down. Trailers are dumb. Oh, God. Okay, we're going down the hill. You're going down the hill. I'm still on the crest. My favorite oh, man, training I... film was the anti-tank rifle film, which was hilariously out of date even when they made it. Well, yes. I don't know. I like the, uh, I like, God, any of the uh, really obscure ones on, like, these are the Nazi newest super weapon. It's called a radio, you know? And it was just like, if you find enemy technical equipment, don't touch it. It could be full of Nazis, you know? Just, I love that era of weird. How are you doing on fuel? Uh, I still have three quarters of it. I just hit half. Well, that's because your thing sucks. Murder truck. All right, well, I'm going to get these metal beams. We got to get one. All right, you got a beam and I got a beam. All right, uh -huh. now now we need to take these to Island Lake. All right, okay. we got to take the metal beams all the way down to Island <clears throat> Lake. And I think I found a few shortcuts. Okay. Yeah, all right. I, I think I found a few shortcuts that will shave some time <laughs> off of our... Uh, off of our our descent so i think i bet i'm willing to bet that i could get to island lake faster than you can get to island i'll let lake? you island lake well, fuck, island lake is all going? the way on the southeast corner of the map i am i'm going to chart the macho way and we'll see we'll see who's a real idiot <laughs> are, are you trying you to out stupid me I can outstupid you in this thing. You All right, so? I see Tippy Truck. Uh huh. All right, here we go. I'm coming. Uh, oh shit! I almost blew a tire. All right. Fuck. This thing drives like ass when it's yeah, loaded. Yeah, it does. All right. All right. Uh uh. No, I got a plan. It's not dumb. Oh, well, I do too. Okay. I'm taking off. I'm gonna get this done. Yeah, give me a sec. I'm creeping down the road. Do you want to oh, refuel? No, I don't need to. I'm going all the way to Island Lake like a man. I'm going. Are you dragging a fuel trailer? <laughs> no, I just ordered it and then took a little bit of fuel out of it and now I'm selling it for exactly what I paid. 
That is fucked up, but I like your plan. That's how you make some real money. I'm stingy like Mr. Krabs. Yeah, this thing handles like absolute ass with, it turns out, eight tons of steel on the back. Oh, it's just a little steel. All I gotta do is get it going. All right, so I found a shortcut. Did you I just ramp off take. the off the mountain? I'm not there to the point yet where I intend to do so, but I am close to the point where I intend to do so. You're gonna lose your load, and then you're gonna need me and my crane. That might happen, but you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. <laughs> oh he man, this thing's flopping wins. everywhere. Yeah, he who dare win a. <laughs> <laughs> it's Latin for get her done. All right, so uh, I just gagged a little in my mouth because I imagined a Larry the Cable Guy art of war. <laughs> you know, or it's like the art of war. It's read by Larry the Cable Guy. Get her done. And it has like commentary in between. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, more why? than that, it's like semi competent commentary like, it's just done in his voice yeah it's 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 semi-confident he's like so when the, when they say found on the center side of the mountain what they mean what they mean is uh you know to the you know always fight to your advantage fight where you can see man you know that's why i need night vision goggles get her done you know and then he just <laughs> keeps going on you're like it's it's him Quiet literally pot. reading Quads. yeah it, it's literally him reading verbatim the art of war and then his commentary on it. Like, here's what I would do. Or like a little anecdote or a story. You shouldn't get seasick in a truck. I agree. However, I've ridden in a Hemet. And you can get oh, seasick oh, in oh, that. Oh, and I tipped. I didn't. I did not tip. I've made it down the mountain almost. <laughs> Tiffy truck. What has Tiffy truck been doing? What, what you up to, Tiffy truck? Have you, uh... Had all your wheels on the ground for a while? Because I'm back on the road, baby. Can I, can I start the engine? No, because naturally, Tiffy Truck landed in an upside-down configuration. Oh, I see where you are. You're almost... Okay, you know what? I could come get you, maybe. Man, I maybe. wish I had my Jeep. <laughs> what? I hate that you said that. <laughs> I don't think that would have helped you because how would you get it back on? Uh, I wouldn't, but it's it's you know single use. I just leave it. Somebody else so will find single, a single single use. Fifty thousand dollar off road modified Jeep. Yes. All right, got it. No, so what what's your play? Do you want me to try to crawl back up the mountain with this after going off the road? You are you are the one that did this to me. I did not <laughs> do this to you. Yes, you did. You... <laughs> All right. You know what? You know what? I went down the mountain. I can go up the mountain. I can do that. I can get mad enough to go around. I know what I'm doing. All right. That's no, it. I'll just I'll just drag another truck. No. You go deliver <laughs> your metal. All right. I'm delivering metal. I'll deliver it. If yeah. you want to sit there with sad tippy truck. Oh no, I'll, I'll recover it. Well, how many how much metal is gonna be in the ravine is the question. <laughs> Cause does this game have a memory leak? <laughs> because I've already had a few oopsie doodles in the metric funk ton range. I bet I could fit a Jeep on that. Why did you just get the longest truck you could? That's just like two I-beams for a ship hull. Cut in a... V just, like, what is that? <laughs> it's, it's the missile carrier. It's a scaffold truck. <laughs> you can't just say it's a blank carrier. This is literally a Zika's artillery tractor. This is what this thing is designed to do. It's a prime mover. This is like the Russian Hemet. And you're driving, you're like, oh, yes, it's a missile thing. I'm like... It's like a moving van front. It looks like it should have a crane on it. Not a missile crane, just 
a crane. Like, it's going to move an inflatable dummy to the top of a mountain or something. I don't know. No, this is, this is the Dan. It's one of the artillery tractors that you can get out of the Russia maps. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to take the real artillery tractor because the real one's getting shit done, son. Is it? Look, I'm just driving across the lake. <laughs> I'm just having a... No. Oh, my God. I bet I could fit a Jeep on that. And then the boys were in trouble. Nothing bad could ever happen. <laughs> Nothing bad could come of this. But that was a lie. So what kind of... Okay, let's say you're a cop. Yeah. And something floods this bad as a cop. Like something this bad floods as a cop. Uh-huh. And, and, and you just see some weirdos with trucks driving around with metal beams. Nothing really specific to fix the problem. <laughs> and they occasionally tumble down the mountain. They don't talk to you and they all look the same. I assume it's a cult. Okay, I I figured. Would you try to stop them, or would you just, you know? Nah, I mean, they're uh, they're doing their thing. Unless I can articulate, they're making making trouble for somebody. There's got to be a crime, right? All right, that's fair. And as you said, sky and water crime are their own affairs and not your issue. Yeah. So here's the question now. I know that there are maritime limits in which the vested interest laws and investitures of the United States, mm -hmm. uh, you know, are enforced and nominally by the Coast Guard or, you know, that fails the Navy. But all right. At what point does civilian law enforcement stop getting involved? Is it like they stop chasing you at a mile? They're just like, I'm not going that further out to ocean. Good question. I have no idea. I've never dealt with that. Because I was just wondering where they're like, at what point do they like, fuck it, hit this guy with a helicopter. <laughs> like, this guy's got a cigarette boat. I'm not driving 900 miles out into the Atlantic. Fuck that guy. I have to imagine there is one, though, where you're like, oh, yeah, beyond that line is the Coast Guard. Beyond that line is mines. So the uh, the Dan is uh, is going pretty well. It's a little bit squirrely with the weight up top, but we're you know, moving along. Right. So I'm I'm I hate that this is working. I'm going to the next map. I am just now passing half fuel. Yeah. Well, okay, but what's the fuel capacity of that truck? A hundred and one. Yeah, exactly. Fuel capacity of the Bandit is 40. Why? Uh, because I thought an off-road truck was supposed to do work. They're so, they had to uh, they had to make it bad somehow, right? For balance reasons. Huh. They had to make it bad. <laughs> they had to, to make it bad. Make make it bad. They had to make it bad. Yeah. All right. You gotta, you gotta have negatives to offset all them positives. It is swimming in nothing <laughs> but positives. I'm just, I'm gonna just cruise my truck down the road. Uh huh. No big deal. I'm just gonna cruise my truck down the road. Yeah. That's all I'm doing. I'm cruising. Cruising down the road. Cruising USA. Cruising USA. Yes, sir. I remember that game. I do as well. I remember I remember that if you played on the map with cows and you went off the road, they would explode and it would be like <laughs> and yeah. and it was hilarious. And you could go left or right a bit. There was a also bit. the uh, the cheat to get the school bus. I remember the school bus. You had to hold down one of the buttons. Yep. Fastest fastest vehicle in the game. Oh, look. The front tire's spinning on the little Rubicon. He wants to help. I, I don't 
Okay. I mean, it, no. All right, so the game is like, you need to deliver to the power poles. And I'm like, okay, power lines. Yeah, because metal beams are notoriously good for using power generation. Yeah, I guess. I mean... I don't see where the first one is. It's like, hey, there's a power pole and you need to deliver it. And I'm like, yeah, it zoomed in on the map, but it didn't show where, so. Mm. I'll just go to where that indicator says and hope it's correct. Yeah, they are conductive. It's one of those uh, five million volt fuses. Yeah. Loud blow bang. All right, so it says it's right over there. Mm -hmm. That's what I got to do. Okie dokie. We're going to get right it there. Right there, huh? Yeah. It's fallen right there. Fallen power pole. It's right there. I'm going to go to that fallen power pole, and I'm going to go put that power pole in the fallen, and then it's going to be better. Now the Meanwhile, question what is... are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing over there? I'm just, I see a Jeep going for a tour of places. You know, he wanted to, he wanted to go see things. Uh-huh. So he's doing that. I'm taking them along do for the it. ride. I, all right. Why? Because it worked. <laughs> I didn't think it would actually work. I just... I'm not happy that it's working. <laughs> I'm not mad that it's working. I'm just saying that it is working. It is. This is really dumb. Why? <laughs> this is really dumb. I'm just going to cruise. The I'm question is whether I recover the bandit and get the metal beams back on it before you get metal beams again and do another lap. We'll see. Next time I might use Turbo Canadian Logging Truck. I might use this thing, actually. It's kind of nice. I'm I'm just driving across the lake. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm just driving across the lake because my truck is large. Large truck? Yeah. Ah, yeah, there we go. All right. Think I can climb that? Think you can climb that? Says the man driving the crane. <laughs> All right, you know what, Chet? Why don't you let him know if he can? I bet I'll I can uh, climb that. I will just be driving across the lake. I'll just be having myself some lake driving now. So are you going to go try to get all of your beams back? Your memes and beams, right? Yeah. No. Okay. Stop the engine. Yeah, we're, we're going for the beams. If it'll let me select this Jeep. Maybe I'm too close. I'm too close. They got me in. They won't let me go. There we go. The Jop Rungle. The Jop Rungle. Yeah. J O P R O N G A L W. Jop Rungle. Mm hmm. 
Let's plan it's a our Jeep. Route up here. It's a Jeep. Well, this this is the uh, Wrangler Rubicon. This is the actual licensed Jeep, but I call it the Jop Rungle because it's uh, not in particularly good shape after riding on top of the Bandit and then the oh. van. I see that it has become, instead of a rectangle on the roof, more of a uh, zooid. Yeah. A shapeless entity, if you will. The game doesn't like the fact that I drove over a rock. Oh, yeah. No, it's it like hates this rocks. Is, it's like, this truck cannot drive over a rock. And I'm like, yeah, I can. And uh, rocks hate your suspension on top of that. That's fine. Ah, oh, there it is. I was worried there for a second. I didn't see it. All right, so I need to get out of where I am because the game suddenly decided this part of the earth was basically quicksand. <laughs> and I'm like, that's interesting. So I'm just going to back up here. Yeah. And get off get off this, this hill that is unnaturally boggy for no reason and find another way around. Uh, I think it's because it just started raining on us, which is going to complicate my recovery. Well... Perhaps, and this is just Mr. Tex thinking out loud, perhaps you should not have driven a uh, tippy truck into <laughs> such a precarious environment. Yeah. Such as off-road. You really think that's it? I don't know. I think that tippy truck is not suited for our adventures. I, I think that tippy truck is in fact a perilous, <laughs> perilous thing to drive. It has always struck me as a dangerous instrument of hubris, and it has also struck me as just debilitating in general. All right, that's not going to work. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fair, probably, on, on all, right. all counts. I'm just driving across the lake because I'm cool. Yeah, no, you're super fucking cool, man. I'm just driving across the lake because I, for once, chose the perfect truck for this. I do for appreciate once. that, you know, I've got these giant beefy mud tires and I left the stock tire on the back. Well, you know, in case you really get stuck, you want to depend on nothing. <laughs> you know why you took... I, I, I'm not... going to break into some... Can I break into some psychology here? Some pop psychology? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right. Do you know why you like Chippy Truck? Why? For the same reason you like Jiffy Pop. Because it rhymes? Is it the alliteration? No. It is the illusion of control. <laughs> Jiffy Pop is shaped like a cooking implement, but... As you know, good goddamn it isn't one. Tiffy truck is shaped like an <laughs> off-road vehicle, but you know, good goddamn it isn't one. But you choose Tiffy truck because it looks fun. Okay, maybe you're not having fun, but I am. I'm recovering my truck. I've delivered one steel beam. <laughs> Sounds like quitter talk. <laughs> uh, Tiffy truck. It will be an adequate picnic table. How are you going to get it out of there? Well, I'm trying to pull it to the point where it's no longer upside down, and then I can use its own winch to recover it. Uh huh. All right. I'm gonna just. I've moved I'm it about seven it. feet. Something about this jeep just does not have the ump. Really? Jeep? Slow? <laughs> nah. Not slow. I. No traction. I'm just going to say this. Why Why don't you put one of them Hellcat crate engines in there? That'll surely help. You know what this needs, clearly. Huh. Is I got to bring the crane up here. I <laughs> love the fact that you're just going to make this that much more exciting for our viewers. You're just going to be like, you know what? You know what? A crane got me into this situation. It did. So a crane's going to get me out of the situation. It shall. All right, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna come around your way because I can't say I haven't <laughs> fucked up. I've fucked up a lot. You can see the stuff I've littered all over this area. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to go around though. I don't think I can get the crane there from uh, the bottom. We're gonna have to come over the top. We started from the bottom, now we're here. Oh, damn me, and my precarious placement of the trailer. All right. I mean, I get your, I get your issue, but I'm just literally driving a two-wheel drive vehicle there. I haven't put on four-wheel drive yet because Canadian logging truck is the superior choice. Western Star for life. The P12's not bad. The P516 is better, but... No, the, I hate the P16 because it doesn't have all-wheel drive all the time. Yeah, yeah. It can haul ass, though. It can. All right. I'm going to drive the big top heavy truck down there. The big uh, floppy Canadian truck. I'm just going to drive this down there. And then I'm going to I'm going to help you as you continue your crane game. <laughs> he really Working believes on in the crane game. Oh, good lord. Yes, I really do believe in this crane. This crane is the it's a tool. <laughs> I can't even spit it out without breaking up. <clears throat> it's you know, the tool for I'm the just... job, and I'm completely serious about that. Uh-huh. All right, well, I'll be there with a truck. Yep. Oh, they're way up here. Okay, we got a ways to go. Yeah, the long way around really is pretty long. <laughs> yeah, I figured. Man, that rain is picking up. It is. This is going to make it even more precarious. I'm trying to get there. Worry not, Crane is on the job. Worry not, Crane is on the job. That phrase is about to start some very sad times. No, these these will be triumphant times for Crane and for Tippy Truck. For Crane and Truck. By the way, we released another episode of the Mad Shot of Mundanus. Yes. Uh, we released episode 14. Oh, thank you, Mr. Train. I appreciate it. Yeah, Mr. We Train likes Mr. Crane. He does. But we released episode 14, which is good stuff. And then we got uh, we got some more on the way. Charger soon, which is good. Soon TM. Soon TM. And then uh, after that, we have the Christmas dump. Yes. The Christmas dump is an annual tradition of content. It is dumb, but good. And thank you, Zenthar. That's very appreciated. Oh, 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 oh. No, oh. no, this is intentional. Uh-oh. Are we having trouble? No, we're good. <laughs> I made it down. I'm cruising, and it's having a good time. Got to turn on the safety lights. Uh huh. Safety lights, you know, for safety. The safety which you're displaying right now. Yeah. Yep. Exceptionally safe. Very, very safe. And we'll just get this out of the way. <laughs> Those crunching sounds are normal. The crunching sounds are normal.
the crunching sounds are normal. These are not phrases you normally hear on any sort of stream, but, you know, on a BPL stream, the crunching sounds are normal is just just exactly what you need to hear. Now, the only thing that is damaged on my truck heavily is the suspension, and I've been driving on the road at normal speed the whole time. Oh, yeah. The suspension is, is ablative in this game. That's the way I feel it. It's like it's fuel. Just it's a resource to be consumed. That's how it feels. I mean, I think my tires would be a bit more eat up before the suspension would. You'd Especially think wrong. With some of this. Well, you'd you'd think with some of this hard flinty ground. I'm just saying, there's some of this this these rocks and shit you're driving over, and I think I'd just be blowing tires out left and right, and I'd be that asshole stuck in the ditch with a tire off the rim trying to remember how to do the hairspray trick and then burning his own hands off. I thought I heard the best way to The best way to harden your suspension, the best way to harden your suspension is just to put blocks in it like an asshole so it punches <laughs> holes in the floor of your car. <laughs> I saw a guy do that. He's like, I'm tired of this flopping around. Oh, you did hear another truck. That was me just driving by. Oh, you didn't stop to help, huh? I forgot where you were. <laughs> All right, time to go down Murder Fuck Mountain to go rescue Deputy. Hey, I just backed over a no littering sign. Is that illegal? No. Really? Only, only if you leave it there. Then it is littering. Oh, fuck. So this is a three hundred dollar fine. I gotta leave. I don't have that kind of money. Oh man, it's two hundred in this state. I've I've stuck the crane. You have stuck the crane. Oh, I see where you are. <laughs> Look up. Look up and see your delivery. Hey, Look buddy. up. Hey buddy, I I'm see up you. here. So how do you want to do this? Do you want me to wrecking ball these things over? Nope. Wrecking ball it is. All right. All right. I'm just going to I'm just going to bonk this thing over. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he's really stuck. That's fun. All right. Let's put this bitch in reverse. <laughs> it may be time to recover my mess. <laughs> I'm here to help. That is that is what I'm here to do. And you don't need to worry about it, bro. It is just fine. You have chosen the smartest way to do this. I'm sure you thought of all of the problems before you did this. I'm sure you did. No, not the crane. Not that crane, please. That is not helping. I hate your crane. Okay, I'm... Oh, God. No. 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 Just, all right. Extend the crane. See what happens. Oh. I'm, I'm pushing. I'm pushing you around the cab. All right. Now we're doing, now we're doing dumb. Now we're getting very stupid. All right. Tippy trick two. Tip a canoe. Is the bed bent? Holy shit. Did you hit this hard? All right. All right, I'm pushing. I don't think I'm it's pushing. supposed to twist. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. We're doing it. Horsepower and torque are our friends here. Yeah, diff lock. All right, so now you need to start the vehicle yeah, and I'm, put it in I'm fucking trying. reverse. Reverse. There you go. <laughs> you have unstuck and done an off-road recovery. Using the crane to not do anything other than push. Good job. Now give me that steel. It's up there. You drove past it. Well, you got two cranes here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that part. You have two cranes. Now, do we fight for the next two hours getting this one piece of steel down the mountain? Or do we, do we go up the road and get it at the store, which is literally 800 feet away? 
Uh, I, I vote store. All right, let's do the store. Why are you? Why? So why? I get, I'm I'm getting rid of them so that your game doesn't lag. Oh my god, I'm now stuck in a hole because <laughs> of Tippy Truck. I'll get out of here because of this son of a bitch. God, I hate this thing. <laughs> All right, if you hate it so much, then I just won't, you know, I won't bring it. <laughs> Why? Why? You just bring it to torment me. It's not like it's a vehicle that <laughs> needs to be there for these reasons. I just... I... It torments me. And I... What is the word? Nemesis. <laughs> I believe that's the accurate term. Nemesis. I, I've i wasted so much fuel getting this thing over here. I'm going to have to go get another truck. I hate I hate your vehicles. I, I'm sad now. Why have you done this? Well, I mean, if we're, if we're recovering. I'm recovering and I'm taking, I'm taking the deuce. I'm taking the deuce, man. I'm going to be one of those guys. You think the deuce We're is gonna, the answer? I think deuce is the answer. And I think what we need to do is we need to have a deuce race and see who's the better deuce. Oh, what? What? No. <laughs> is that an airport tongue? Is that an airport tongue? Or what is that? It's the Dairy M899. Oh, God. It's the, like, uh, that... it's the uh, truck that can tow two Abrams on a trailer. Oh, great. Just what we want. A very tall tractor. <laughs> it's powers that some would consider unnatural. I just... I... Alright, you know what? Drive that thing. Go ahead. Just, just, just bust that thing out and let's see what you got. No, I want to try the Tatra. Tatra's unless, actually nice. Unless we want to do... Uh, Carry shit on an articulated towing platform? I Jesus Christ. I I you're gonna be that guy that has the tarp over things that just is like, I got it, and as he's driving down the road, the mattress just starts sliding. <laughs> I saw a guy with a Honda, an older Honda, I'd say like a early two thousands Honda yeah. Accord. And he had two mattresses on it and one belt right around the middle, belting it down. And as he was driving, they just started sliding. And he would make it about 10 blocks before he'd go over and then belt it down again. <laughs> okay. That was his, that was that his, was Jed his answer. Clampett. That was his Jed Clampett, man. He's like, I'm not buying another come along or another ratchet strap. So help me Christ. I will not do it. You know, fair. When you're done, you're done. And uh, what am I doing? Uh, what am I? What is the most Cargonia type thing I've ever done in Door Fortress? Um, I would say the uh, Elf Remover slash uh, Reclamation Service. Um, I would I would build a drowning pool where I would like empty a lake into a room so the elves would go down a floor and go under the lake and there'd be a plug and i'd pull a lever and the whole room would just fill with the lake and the elves would drown and then so after like three months i would then open the other gate and the the you know all the elf trinkets would go down to one spot where my dwarves could get them and then we could you know like throw away the detritus eg the the elves <laughs> i hate elves fucking elves all right where are we going Not a, we're, we're gonna go get some metal beams oh yeah i forgot we yeah. didn't accomplish that no no we did not we did not why is this so fast these these are some of the slowest fucking trucks in the world <laughs> and this game is like these things should be fast i'm like no they're heavy that number does not mean power no Heavy truck fast. Heavy truck fast, yeah. I mean, they make this kind of noise, but they don't go faster. They just make more noise. Oh, yeah, no. The deuce and a half is a truck where you put your foot to the firewall, 
and you sit at 53 on the highway for eight hours to get to your destination. It'll pull a bit, but not a lot. It'll pull about a, a ton and change of stuff. Yeah. However, in this game, apparently in the straights, it'll do uh, 35, 40, maybe? I don't know. It's gliding on these tires at that speed, though. That's nice. Boringly nice. Yeah, I found that to be true. It just does not give two shits about whatever. Nice. What's the horn sound like? That's a good masculine horn. Good for them. Mine just mine just sounds like an old car. Yeah. Alright, let's see if I can make it across this thing without flipping it. Because I always flip this son of a bitch. Nope, nope, maybe, maybe, maybe. Up, up, got it. I was going to say, I I'm don't a have a crane, so... I don't need no crane. My peepaw drove these roads for hundreds of minutes, and he knows where left is. <laughs> I'm crawling along at maybe... Oh, good lord. That, I did switch it into high, didn't I? I, I? I don't even know where high is on this thing. I just know that I w must use the floor. Well, no, I, I switched it into high with the accelerator pegged, and it immediately bogged down like it couldn't reach that top speed. Yeah. Maybe it's got some sad. Good lord, we are going all of four miles an hour in high. What are you like, doing? I understand why this man looks bored. I'm just bouncing around, man. I'm having fun up here. Good for you. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm about halfway there. Yeah, I'm Where's just dam? crossing the dam. Why? <laughs> because this thing is slow as shit. Why? Because you didn't buy American, sir. You didn't get the giant generic vehicle that I did. It's boxy and dumb. I might paint it like a Tonka truck. <laughs> you want me to go get a deuce? We'll, we'll do deucing. No. You know, I've, I always kind of anything. I always kind of wanted a deuce and a half, but I've never lived in a place where I could actually have one and enjoy it. I just have a lot of friends with them. Uh, they are they're I know. good fun. They're good fun, but I mean, it's like you can't road trip in them. Well, unless you make the road trip a deuce road trip where you're pulling off like the 50s, where you pull off every two hours to not die. Mm -hmm. uh, the tires are cambered at the front. That's because it's uh, active suspension. That's a pigeon towed truck, sir. It is. So somebody left a trailer parked in the middle of the road here. I pushed it out of the road. Because it was in the way of Crane. Right. Crane. Mm -hmm. Everyone's friend, Crane. You took two cranes up into the woods. What happened? What do you do with the two cranes? Uh, mostly nothing. So did you did you find the power of Crane? Was Tippy Truck and Tippy Truck the second capable of Humpty Dumpting our problem? Hey, that that second truck never once tipped. Chat can attest to that. I will say that Tippy Truck the second has yet to tip. He's just had to not. He's not found the mountain big enough. <laughs> he's just not found a big mountain big enough to somersault down that thing. Just gonna somersault down that like ball and jacks. It's gonna be horrific. It's gonna be a real horror show. They're gonna find pieces of that guy's teeth all over the place. So, uh, I'm slowly working my way up the mountain. Where are you at? Oh, I'm just going up the mountain myself. You know. Okay. In my truck, in my in my deuce and a half. Yeah. Well, it's it's actually like a a thrice and a half. 
Yeah. Because a properly scaled deuce and a half isn't big enough to carry one cargo unit in this game. Yeah, no, deuce and a halfs are, I mean, they're, they're, they're trucks to carry a chunk of troops or a chunk of MRE boxes or some ammo. You know, they're, they're not designed to carry like 80 tons of gas. Yeah. You need to actually go get a Hemet or something like that to move bigger things in military freight. Yeah. You need to get a, you need to get a five ton. You need to get a prime mover. See, that's, that's what I don't get is instead of just putting the five ton in the game, they made this weird amalgamation that's mostly a deuce and a half, but scaled up almost five ton size. I think I have a bad tire. One moment. Uh, I've got a spare tire. I just gotta get up to you. I think I could drive on it. I think I could do that. Alright, I'm gonna cruise down the road. <laughs> I have a flat tire, but I don't care. <laughs> I know you're tempted to but don't do it. Don't don't shortcut through the sway packs. I'm sorry, I have already done this before your chat notification popped up. Don't worry, he he'll be fine. All right, so one one. I mean, I've never seen a five ton owners association. Ah, uh, they just really. they just hang around with the deuce guys. It's all part of the MVPA umbrella, so. Which there is no MVPA chapter around here. I'm going to uh, take my ruin suspension. Yeah. That I have that, and I, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna take my ablative ruin suspension <laughs> and my collapsed ladders, springs, and everything else, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just say, you know what? Put some metal beams in there. All right, time to go back down the mountain. Oh, you're coming back down the mountain? Yep, I'm coming back down the mountain with blown out tires. Okay, I'll just meet you here. I'm at the trailer. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like having a blown out tire in the front, but it'll roll. I believe that. All you got to do is just make that tire work. Run it down to the rim. No retreads for me, sir. <laughs> Don't trust them. Not safe. <laughs> Don't trust them. Not safe. I always run it to the rim. I get my full dollar's worth on my tire. I get my full dollar's worth on my tire. Now, the game is saying that my suspension is destroyed and my yeah. tires are flat. Uh-huh. Just watching Mr. Tex meander through this little mud pit. I am having fun with my flat tire and bad vehicle. Thank you very much. You got right, a shortcut so down still, the mountain? No, I'm, I'm going to drive with my flat tire. Okay. I'm just going to drive because I, I know that there are no shortcuts to success. Except for the shortcut that I'm going to take with the metal pipes near you, I'll definitely take that shortcut. That's, That's the shortcut one I was asking. To success. About. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Depp, do you change much tires on duty for people alongside the road? Yeah, when I see somebody that stopped, I check on them. Uh, so how, how many... is not more practical. There's no space in those fucking things. Yeah, I mean it depends on what hold... you're doing. But a Kubelwagen can comfortably hold a machine gun. And some ammo for it. And a driver. And, and Yeah. And that guy who has the machine gun might want to, like, you know, be kind of skinny and small. <laughs> yeah, he's not comfortable, but he fits. Uh, same with Willie's MB. They are fucking tiny. They're awful. Uh, the M3081 and the M151 are a little bit bigger. They're a little bit roomier. They're still kind of... Yeah. Uh, M37 Dodge is probably about right there the m715 i'd consider those kind of add a good mix of uh carrying capacity and useful size for driving around in the woods 
so you don't have to cut your own road. You can dodge between trees. I'm cutting my own road. I'm watching you, brother. I don't believe in none of this crap. Don't yeah. locate on me. I will. <laughs> Down the mountain. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, All me, right, fix me up. Let me, uh, oh, I thought you were just going to go down and then we'd fix at the bottom. All right, hold on. I got I to gotta refuel from you, man. Don't you have a spare fuel tra tank? I do not. Oh. Well, give me, give me some of that uh, repair and give me some of that tire. You can be service truck this time. I ain't got no tires for you, but I fixed everything else. All right, so no tires. Everything else is fixed. Looks like we're going to have to continue as a wounded vehicle. You need to bring me some fuel and some more spares and tires. Recover. Meet me okay. on the southern road. You must be the service truck. You must come to help. I'm making my way to Island Lake. We now have a mission and a purpose. Onward. Okay. I'll see you there. Everyone salute the brave man who is about to die for his service. Truck. Truck. All right. So I've got 10 gallons of fuel left, and it's running at about three a minute. Oh. I'm going to make well, it as far as I can. Shit. Get down here to where I'm parked, and I'll, uh, I'll fuel you up. I've got 85 gallons. Hold on. I'm running hard. Or you know what? Never mind. I'll just come back with the trailer. You can do this. This is your mission. You have to bring a tire. A tire and, and fuel. This is a rescue. We have to get these beams so people can get their memes. Indeed. I am, I'm beginning to wonder if the smart decision, instead of both of us trying to carry shit, is one of us just takes a service truck. You know what? That sounds entirely too smart, and fuck you for thinking about it. Oh no, I just rolled over. Okay, we lost the cargo. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Never mind. We got to do it over again. <laughs> yep, recover. <laughs> so we're all that plan we had. <laughs> we're not doing that. Uh, what do I want to take this time? Well, we're going to need something competent. So I'm going to take the artillery tractor. And I'm just going to drive it nice and low and slow like a smart person. But I will need some help. You, you will need some help? What kind of help do you think you're going to need? I'm probably fuel and service and a scout. I'll need someone with a winch that's strong and they can pull. I mean, find your favorite off-road service vehicle and you can be my pal. Okay. We just got to go over the mountain again. Get one more thing of beams. And then we can make $5,000 after wrecking 40 vehicles. Yeah, this really is a blue-collar simulator, huh? We, we're we really good. We're, like, super we are good very, at this. We're not good at this. Super good at this. A somewhat more modern engine model. Thank you. Ah, right. So why don't you just have people, you know, you can service truck. I mean, they people know what service truck is. Service truck is a thing. You got to be able to bring service and be able to service vehicles. And you have to do so in a good way. And you actually know a lot about uh, vehicles from this era. Oh, here we go. Flop, no NOS in these. No, We're, he's driving the service truck flop. I'm driving the giant Soviet, you know, artillery tractor. Deputy is trying to come help in service truck. Oh, that, the way, is, Flop, that is the uh, worst fucking engine noise. Don't worry about it. By the way, Flop, uh, I am going to be putting a crew together for not for this next Tuesday because Dwarf Fortress comes out tomorrow and I'll be playing that on the stream if it cooperates just because I've been playing it for weeks and I want to kind of see the transition, you know, because I've been playing it for weeks on the stream and I want to say, okay, old, new, see what's really Yeah, new, are you already really on the different. way up? 
Yeah, I'm going across the dam now. Oh, fuck. But uh, one, of, one of the things I'm going to be putting together for a crew flop is a Pulsar crew, perhaps for Tuesdays on my stream. Tuesdays or Wednesdays, possibly, I don't know. But most likely Tuesdays. I may need a pilot for that. Who will service like, a service truck? Sorry. I, no, it's quite fine. It's a fair question. But what I'm thinking of doing is uh, if we can put together a Pulsar crew, there's some new ships out, and I think that with uh, some good people, some people who really know what they're doing, we could assemble a full crew of a-holes, and perhaps, I'm not saying we could find the Lost Colony, but I know we could sell some fucking biscuits. I know we could do that. Is there actually a Lost Colony in that game? There is. There's a whole bunch of things you have to find and little puzzles and stuff that you can do, uh, more or less, to help discover this lost colony. There's other scenarios as well, including uh, one where you're in a submarine and one where you play as this other group of guys. They've added a lot more equipment as well, but we've found ways of breaking Pulsar that are hilarious, which include upgrading the engine to the point where when enemies shoot lasers at you, you move out of the way. So it's just like, they're like, I'm shooting at you, and you're like, haha, relativistic physics, ship go left. It's, it's great in the game when you can get the uh, missiles to uh, just miss you completely. Because they're just like, you're in the wrong zip code when they land. It's, it's a good time. Putting together a Pulsar crew could be quite fine. Yeah. Because Pulsar is fast in the way of being able to change what you're getting into in the way that Carrier Command isn't. Yes. And Carrier Command's fun, but there's also three hours of waiting for that fun. So Carrier Command is like going to eat at Grandma's house. It's going to take a while. The whole, house, the whole house is really cozy and comfy, and everything smells good, but... It's gonna be a minute before you get to eat any of that. It's gonna be a minute. Pulsar is like flipping channels on Beavis and Butthead. It's it's just random things to react to that is pretty enjoyable. Except you can be like, huh, check it out, the planet's on fire, and then just burn things. Alright, I'm crossing the low bridge. About to head up the mountain. So I was going to say, um, I was thinking in our Traveler game, so you know how we killed that whale? Or rather, the whale died while it was on our ship, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I had a thought. That whale owes us money. Okay. Low passage. <laughs> that whale owes us money. Even though he died... We got him most of the way there. We signed no guarantee that I can recall, or that Crobon can read, that uh, would say that he has to be delivered by X date. And no. we could re we and so he is now also dry enough to remit into the mail to any number of occasions. And uh, you know, I, I mean, we could send them. 100% pure samples of him to prove he was, in fact, on board. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, alternatively, we have enough of uh, Whale's DNA to uh, stage his presence at a number of crime scenes. <laughs> These are just thoughts I have in reference to the uh, Traveler game, which is being recorded. It, it will be out probably after the mundaneness after a bit. But they, they yeah, are very awesome stupid time. episodes. And everyone is having a good time with it. Poor old Bobby and He was he was not he was uh unfortunate. It's a shame we never got to meet Osama bin Dolphin. Yeah, no, you didn't. This is a precarious choice in service trucks. 
I never had problems with it. I only had adventures. You have to have yes in your heart, Depp. <laughs> you can't have no in your heart with service truck. You have to go. Oh, I'm going. I mean, we did our part. We did our part in the mission. Didn't we? We did. I mean, you're the DM. You should be telling me. Like, yeah. No. Yeah. You, you guys, you've done fine. You've done, you know, things. Look. Some of them we, unspeakable. We found the bomb. You did? Then we used it. You did? So, I mean, we've done some things. Oh, absolutely. You've done things. Things have been done. Good enough. So here's the thing. Uh, I'm driving down the road in this thing. Yeah. I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm doing all right. I've noticed that it just goes over stuff. No damage to much. Okay. The American trucks flopped up, up and down all the time until there was no suspension left. Up and down, hard as possible, and there was just nothing left. Yeah. I will say this is a rather fuel efficient little truck. It is. It is a nice little truck. You never see those over here, really. I think no. I've seen maybe one, maybe one. You see pins gowers all the time. You never see top. I, no, I've seen pins gowers a few times. I've seen a lot of Unimogs. I think I've seen and more pin pins is in Unimogs. But... All right, I'm going to go grab. Okay, I maybe just ran over some things. Not a big deal. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to park this here, and I'm going to get into, uh, let's see, cargo management, load. All right, good. Okay. I'm going to do a 180. Terrible, unspeakable things, but also, you know, some good. We're going to go this way. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Now I'm going to drive back down the mountain yeah. with my giant load of metal beams. Yeah, and I'm, I'm waiting for you at the mountain. All right. Bottom, so like at about, down. in about 30 minutes, we're going to have, remember, our crash. <laughs> our, our, our normal crash that we yeah, normally yeah, yeah. have with this. So if you see a crash on WPPL 76, keep in mind. We have no idea why this happens, but it well, happens. We, uh, and it, it only seems to happen to me, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we got, we got 34 minutes. All right. We got 34 minutes to avoid the bomb. All right. We're going to go the same route we did last time. <laughs> it's more... the 204. You can set your watch by it. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the same road as last time, but we're gonna do it with a lot more gusto. Because this we're time not fucking feeling, cowards. Huh? Yeah. Mama didn't raise no bitch. And here we go. Do it. Oh yeah. Accelerate that son of a bitch. Don't worry about it. Oh uh, yeah. Watching your tiny little block of a truck move down the road. It is carrying all the metal. I've not had to shift a gear since I've started. I've just put the accelerator down, pointed the nose to the horizon, and kept going. Yeah. There's, uh, there's like five steel beams from abandoned attempts to complete this objective. It's laying all over this mountain. Uh, we are providing for the uh, secondhand scrap market. <laughs> we're, we're providing natural reefs for local tetanus <laughs> yeah seems like seems like what we're doing unimog i want to i want a unimog 404 i have a friend that just bought a unimog 404 and he's a son of a bitch i would love to have an old unimog until i had to take care of it because i'd remember it's a mercedes yeah well you know they had the tiny little Tiny little Mercedes wrenches so that you could fit them under that little bonnet. Yep. 
it, it it's it's a Mercedes, which means it's really nice, and it's very well engineered. It's also Mercedes when you have to work on it. <laughs> yep. I've never heard, oh, this will be easy to fix. It's a Mercedes, unless you're talking about the old W126 and 116 body cars, which were just essentially indestructible. Those are those, you know, million mile, mile cars where they're like, oh, yeah, this car's had like eight, you know, different odometers in it, and it just keeps going. And it's like, yeah, those are good engines. I thought you were going to take the shortcut again. I have learned. I have learned. We have left enough trucks sideways on this mountain. Well, I also realize I may have left enough things in the way to not get through. <laughs> I may that is the other problem is I, I didn't fear the truck's performance over terrain. I feared the truck's performance over the impediments I placed in the terrain. Uh, by the way, watch out for that trailer. Yeah, I, I, I figured I'd run into that son of a bitch. All right, look. Okay. As soon as I come down there, I'm going to need some service. I'm going to need some suspension, a little bit of engine service. Yeah, I got, I got you covered. Maybe some fuel, some taquitos. Some taquitos. I can hear you. Yeah, all right. Hey, you know, I saw a uh, website that made keto taquitos. Oh, wow. And they were, they were and here's, here's the recipe. You want to hear? Yeah. It's really bad. It's really, really bad really really bad it's quite bad it's quite terrible um it goes like this the recipe is uh you take chicken like ground chicken and parmesan like and i mean ground like you know mechanically separated in a can Mm -hmm. and parmesan cheese dust (laughs) and you smash that into a disc that is the taquito wrapping and i thought to myself That seems like, one, not similar at all to what taquito wrappers are. No. And two, uh, it seems like that would just be like a salt lick, right? So, as it turns out, yes, yes, it is a salt lick. All right, fixed truck. Yeah, hold on. You're good. All right. Now We've that we have repairs, let's go. I'm taking the shortcut. Good enough for Peepaw. Oh, man. This is bad. All right, yeah, here we go. Yeah, that's where you lost it in the deuce. Nope. Nope. Ain't going to lose it in this one. Power all the way through. Yeah. There we go. We just drove through there. Follow my ruts if you can. That was a lot of bouncing. I noticed. I'm sure the devs are like, this isn't where this should go. Yes, the service truck has the gunner's uh, commander hatch on it. All right. Oh. Oh, fuck. Here we go. We're going down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I got to hook a sharp left here. All right. We're rolling into the middle. Yeah, I'm going to get there eventually. All right, there we go. I seem to be finding the high ground, Anakin. Do you need a tow? I don't know yet. I haven't made it to the swamp. Oh, no. Where are you? Driving across the swamp like it owes me money? I can't even hear your truck anymore. (laughs) I never let up off the gas. I just kept going. Why would you let up off the gas when you have a truck that just goes? I 
I wonder if service truck can get over here. Because I'm not saying that to be mean. I love service truck. I'm just thinking that some of this is about as high as the tires on my truck. I put on snorkels. So let's see. Oh yeah, you got snorkels. You're right. That is the only impediment to that. <laughs> the snorkel will save you from the mud. You're, you're correct. You drive that box truck through there with all 80 of its horsepower. You know... I, uh, I always love it when people put really tall snorkels on, like, brand new Jeeps. Because you're sitting there like, yeah, you know, you you won't flood the engine with water. It's just going to be every other system in the vehicle that's going to make it a flood car now. Because you decided yeah. to drive through this creek. Congrats. Yeah, it's like, oh, wow, cool. Every time I start my car, all the lights and blinkers turn on and off. Yeah. Modern That's amazing. modern Jeeps. I know that they like park it on top of Abraham Lincoln's head on Mount Rushmore, but they're not designed for that anymore. They Ooh. never really were, but you could kind of make it work anyway. They were designed to be disposable. Then they were mail vehicles for a while, and then people were like, "That means they're tough." And I'm like, yeah, but you don't see, like, Grumman LLVs with fan clubs, right? <laughs> I would I would pay to be in the Grumman LLV fan club. If anyone out there has a Grumman LLV, contact the Black Pants Legion at gmail.com, and we'll see about getting it to deputy. There, now you have to eat that shit. Yeah. How's that? Yeah, there. If you have a mail truck that is just laying around, and you're like, hey, this thing is a burnt-out carcass that smells like feet. Just get in contact. Because Deputy <laughs> has said, I want to be part of that fan club. I said if fan you club, have a not Grumman, owner's group. That's how you become part of the fan club. You have to own it. All right, so I don't, I don't mean to be mean, but a uh, service truck is not doing so hot. I understand. And Hor Thorax says, 80 horses power. That's as powerful as 80 horses. You can't possibly defeat it. You can't. It's 80 horses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. How are you going to cheat? There's I really no the garage road. on this? God damn it. Alright, I thought there was a garage in Island Lake. I was going to pop out of the garage here and be like, I made it with service truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember that? I think someone did that in the New York Marathon. They, like, <laughs> ducked out halfway through and they got on the subway. Yeah. Like, they just ducked out and they're like, fuck this shit. And then, like, got on the subway and, like, went and had coffee and stuff and then got off and were like, uh, 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 like, acting like they've been running. And and people are like, hey, I ain't seen that motherfucker the whole race. What the fuck? That, that guy looks not even winded. And he's like, oh, it's so hard. <laughs> All Apparently, right. a lot of people do it. I believe that. Like run the marathon or don't, right? Yeah. It's 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 like imagine pe imagine going to the gym and just standing around taking pictures of stuff but not using the equipment. It's not very difficult to imagine. I see that all the time. I actually saw somebody who wrote like a bunch of uh like motivations, you know. Yeah. Affirmations. It was like hashtag fit, hashtag this, hashtag that. And I was like Hashtag, if you're going to the gym, please use the equipment. Other people are probably waiting to use it, and they're very busy. Uh, and, and they would like it if you didn't just, like, take pictures of stuff at what is probably a place where people would prefer to be private and just kind of work on themselves a bit. Just a thought. Maybe not ruin these experiences for other people vicariously by application of a lens flare, but maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. Maybe that's it. You are. I'm decidedly old-fashioned. I like taking pictures of my friends, not food, but there's a whole group of people who are like, look at this, isn't this amazing? And I'm like, pictures of food are like pictures of strip clubs. It conjures nothing. It conjures nothing but want. You know what I mean? It's, it's not 
anything of substance, smelling the food is different. Having yeah. some having something to back that up it's it's like someone describing a painting to you rather than just showing you it is obtuse i mean imagine if someone's like man check this out and they played you a recording of fajitas <laughs> you're like man listen to this listen to this thing i got isn't that amazing this recording and they like and it's a and you're like wow that's weird don't do that like, just, just eat the food. Like, bring me with you to eat the food. Or tell me the food was good and describe it. But, but don't take me pictures for the same reason. Don't, don't send a sound of, like, this is what it sounds like when I eat mac and cheese. It's unnecessary. So, uh... I'm autistic. I met my... <laughs> Note to self, start a painting review by telegraph. Um, no, that's a good one. No, so I I recently met my sister's new boyfriend, and he comes from Texas. He wanted to make Texas style fajitas. Uh huh. I've never eaten a fajita. I have no cultural reference for what a fajita is supposed to be. So uh -huh. I made a burrito with the fajitas, <laughs> and he looked so disappointed in me. <laughs> you did your part. You did your part. You consumed He's it and like, had a good time. Oh, yeah, I mean, you can do that. <laughs> well, I mean, you're from the land of craft singles and Tony's Pizza. I mean... <laughs> you're like, this is... This, bonjour, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I once went to a Mexican restaurant in London. Oh. And they said... Would you like a taco? And I said, eh? And they said, a taco? And I was like, you mean a taco? And they were like, we also have fajitas. I was like, all right. I have some of them. And they weren't <laughs> bad, but it's great. It's fantastic. It's like I, I once took an Australian friend of mine to Outback Steakhouse. Back when they would do the fake accent at Outback Steakhouse. Oh, man. It was so... I watched him implode of cringe. Just implode. Just... He was like, what is this? And I was like, this is what Americans think Australia is. And he's like, we are nothing like this. We actually have a film industry. And I was like, Bonza, mate! Bloomin' Onion! He was not happy. <laughs> well, I am taking was... service truck on an adventure. I I am I am almost to the delivery of this fucking thing. <laughs> I know. I am not even going to make it onto that map before you deliver. I'm I'm doing my part. I'm delivering fallen poles to power lines. No, so I found that uh, for the same reason that like southwestern Mexican food is usually really good. Um. You you want to try like the pub curries and that kind of thing in England. Because that's, oh God, yeah. that's their immigrant population, and that's how they've uh, taken that food and anglicized it. Oh, them. yeah, no. God, the the pub curries in England are phenomenal. That and the other invention of the greasy box. The greasy box is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. It's all, and I mean all, of the fried food. All of it. So there's kebab meat. There's, there's like doner meat, there's, there's onion rings, there's fries, there's pizza, there's egg rolls, whatever, donuts, sure, why not? And it's all in a pizza box. It's all of that jam packed in a pizza box with like a paper filler under it. And it's called a greasy box. All right. We made $4,400. Fuck yeah. Woo, power's back up, baby. Uh, what are we doing yeah. next? Jesus Christ. We did our part. Now we I, have to deliver I'm a whole bunch of other part. shit. We're doing our part to things. Cement. We've got to deliver cement to three different things. One of them in each. Okay, where do we get cement? Oh, four different things. All right, yeah, so we have to go. Things. 
Yeah, we we have we have a lot of things to do. Husky That's forty. All right, so some of these are a little bit better, and some of these are a little bit worse. So there's some to get logs, and uh, do we want to like fuck it. with logging? Yeah, I didn't think. I don't so. like. I don't. Yeah, I'm not a fan. So of we logging. can we can deliver fuel, consumables, service spare parts, and wooden planks to. Uh, logistics base. We have a thing called Instruments of Development to grab drilling equipment and take it to the warehouse, which will open up warehouse access here. So we're going to do that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do that one. Um, fuck, I'm going to need probably something other than this service truck. Well, you did your part with service truck. I did absolutely service- nothing. You service the vehicle. You could always try to show up and fill this thing up with fuel again. Oh, man. This is a lot of fucking equipment to move. It is. Why? All right, I'm moving forward. I'm crawling forward. I'm going to drive across the lake with this giant thing. Are you going to just drive the murder? Does that have a lowerable mid-wheel or something? No. uh, Well, yes, it does, but I don't know if it actually works on here. Isn't that just for, like, destroying yet another set of tires if you want? Yes. We are going to roll on. Oh, fuck. All right. Yeah, there <laughs> we go. Nothing. I just, had okay? a, I just had a senior. I had a senior moment. I, I had a senior moment, and we're good. I'm just shifting back into drive. All right. If you say you're good, you're good. I, I'm good. I got cargo management and drilling equipment. It says I don't have enough space. I need to have... A thing that has four space on it. Four That's drilling equipment? Need. Yes. Then it sounds like you're going to have to come get a giant stupid truck like this. I And we're going to have hate. to convoy them down to Island Lake to pick up the drilling equipment. So what you're telling me is I need to bring a service truck. Yes. Uh, All right, uh, fine. Well, so either we take a risk... And we both bring flatbed trailers, or one of us brings a service truck to recover the other when we fuck up. I will bring the service truck. Okay, you're gonna. I will. I, <laughs> I, I will assist. And it said we need four. Yeah, it says something with four four space. All right. Okay. And we need to bring three of them, right? Apparently. There we go. I got the answer. Oh fuck! What, what no, is, this won't. Work. What is the What is the answer? This is trailer's it... got eight space. I. All right. I. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I mean, but you it's know... not gonna work because it's stepped. All right. I mean, it's a thing. I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to get my uh GMC Brigadier to help you because I think that might help. I'm not sure. I'm just I'm going to try to help you as much as possible. Here we go. I got I got what I need to help. 
I got fuel, spare wheels, repair parts. I will be able to absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Train. Thank you. I appreciate it, Mr. Train. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Very kind. Turn on beacon. And I am ready to go when you are. All right. Well, I'm going to I'm going to just come on out with a service uh, rig and you'll you'll find that I will be your best service buddy there is. Okay. And you're, you're going to find that I'm just here to help. I'm a happy service truck. It's all I need is a little bit of help. I'm just going to make sure that I got the correct tritone they did at the, yeah, in the 70s. All right, there we go. There we go. As I sit here with my tiny little fan going in the corner of the cab. Oh, Jesus Christ, you are going to get stuck. I'm an airport service vehicle, sir. Why do you think I'm going to get stuck? Do you think I don't possess the the power? All right, you are going first, because otherwise you're going to get stuck in my fucking tracks. That sounds like you are trying to tell me that you're afraid of the future. And I tell you this much. You can't be afraid of the future. And I am just going to... Hold on a sec. Don't. If you start honking, I'll take my time. I'll park this fucking thing. Because I bet you I, I could just sit here and relax and have a calm day. <laughs> and I bet that you will get stuck. All I have to do is wait. Now I'm going to get a beverage. You go ahead and start rolling. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're going to need to take the left road. The left road and then... Oh, God. I'll be back in a minute. Left a road beverage. is what I was is... taking service truck down. It's a little rough. Uh-huh. I'll be back in a minute to help. I bet we can do that. Chat, you think we can do that? Doggo does approve. Actually, you know what? He's gone. I'm going to step away too. We're going to go to commercial break. We'll be right back. Because i got to use the restroom. On a spaceship and get it the fuck out. That takes time. I really don't think it does. You go like zoop, zoop, it, it, and then you've got like two it's, grappling it's lines it's in sleeping. the old robo dick box, and then it's just it's crotch sleeping. first into the sky. I don't care if it's sleeping. If you grab Do it, you by really the want robo to explain nuts, to the ten thousand year old avatar of death why suddenly it has Jado strapped to its dongus. I feel like someone <laughs> has to. That's what the arm toilet paper is for. Hey kids, do you like breakfast? Yeah! Well, you're gonna love self heating maple bacon breakfast logs from Randy Checkers. Cool! That's right, kids. Just crack my log like a glow stick and watch the magic happen. Delicious breakfast, perfectly heated in less than 30 seconds. Move over, Jimmy Dean. There's a new sausage chef in town, and his name, Randy Checkers. Warning, Randy Checkers maple bacon breakfast logs contain substances known to cause cancer in the state of California and is part of a balanced breakfast. Randy Checkers maple bacon breakfast logs, hell yeah! Oh shit! Ah! <laughs> uh, whoa! whoa. He's, off, he's gone. I must go. My people need me. <laughs> to Delta. Come in, Delta. G-17 to Delta. The Order of the Imperial Oath reports a subject levitating and speaking in tongues in their lobby. 
Delta, please respond. Delta, do you copy? Hey, it's Quinn here. Sorry, Delta responded to G17. You said a man is levitating and speaking in tones in the lobby. Let me just... Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm feeling that. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, that's, that's really, that's really annoying. Uh, we're on our way. <laughs> Yep, yep, that's correct. That's what they do. God, he even runs like a fucking stripper. <laughs> How many strippers have you seen run, deputy? Oh, they're fast in heels, man. You gotta be careful. <laughs> Welcome to my theme park. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the park. Oh god, why? I have shit post based about Hala. An absurdist comedy club where all great shit posters exist. Where nothing is serious, where irony is the only language we speak. We go out into the world and we come back with new and greater extremities to sh dragging them in like a fresh kill so that we show them to other shit posters. And at the end of each day, the material is wiped clean in a new. The world is remade in new and more absurd ways, and the only way we can cope with it is through greater acts of shit posting. And this shall be our eternity. There might even be a feast of beans, terrible mac and cheese, pizza abominations, a fucking carbonated sodas made of spaghetti. You have no idea. This could be ours. This could be our fate, and you are but one step from realizing this opportunity for yourself. I'm so proud. Flipping off the Hemet. Yeah, he fuck you, asshole. Fuck you guys. Just start shooting. Losers. Absolute fucking losers. Uh, we should yeah, probably get really some gotta, altitude. Yeah. You really gotta let them know, you know? You gotta hang on. Yep. There it is. No, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you disengage the autopilot? No, I opened the window. <laughs> back at it all right in four minutes in four minutes we'll have a break whether we want one or not yeah so be prepared for that be prepared for the uh break of breaks all right now it's time to put on all-wheel drive All right, boy, that thing is sanic fast, and I see you just smashing things coming down the road. It's the trailer; it doesn't take damage. <laughs> All right, well, as long as you're doing the Lord's work. How many gallons a minute does that thing suck? <laughs> About five. That's a lot. It idles at one. Under power, it's about five. I see your flappy boy going up and down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, they said that this wasn't a trail that you could take with these vehicles, but you know what? Fuck you, Reddit. <laughs> it wasn't Reddit that said it. It was CJ. CJ, you know what? You just got to have love in your heart. And hate in your floor, and you need to put your foot to the floor with hate. Oh, look, my little axle, it's spinning. It wants to help. Is there a way to put that down? Oh, 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 there is. I'm sure that'll help. Well, I think there is. That, I'm sure that'll help, it. it's very... I clicked it a certain amount of times, which I did not count. It may or may not be down. I, I don't know. But we're going forward. Okay, now, this part up here may be a little bit precarious. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. 
This part up here is a little bit, oh, oh, it's whimsical. I almost rolled it right there. I need help. I don't think that's going to happen. The trailer is high centered. Well, you got to pull yourself out of there, bud. Because I just barely made it around this part up here. <laughs> barely. My guy is shaking in the seat like he's being shelled. All right, let me let me also put it to you this way. If you go down the mountain, I think there's still a way around. No, nah, I found a I tree think... that'll hold. Fuck yeah. I'm just going to wait here. Now, if you go all the way down the mountain, I think I think we're still good. You think so? Maybe. By that, I think you could drive just down the mountain. You could drive across the lake and then go down the mountain. But yeah, this is uh, the part up here is where it gets biblical. <laughs> All right. Well, I see you come around the corner. All right, you're about to see it. Now, that part is fine. That's the eye of the needle. But it's around the bend where it gets bad. Mmm. All right, so this I part can, of the I bike speed. All right, okay. I'm standing by. This part is where you might need help. Okay. Uh oh. Uh huh. Oh, she's pulling. Hold on. I can I can pull you around the corner. No, I got it. I just had to readjust my angle. I'm good. I think we're having fun. All right, folks, here we see live footage of BPL Logistics Core vehicles trying to advance through grid BB968BY909 in the aftermath of heavy rainfall. Welcome Look, to the we're broadcast. rolling. I found, the, I found a way. I found a way to get this thing over the mountain. I'm a pathfinder with a fuel truck from an airport. You know, this this is a real get Muhammad over the mountain moment, or however that goes. We're having a good moment. <laughs> All right. Now be careful you're, with you're your Santa Claus. Gloss class. over that. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dignify that with the response. <laughs> I am going to drive the truck because as soon as I turn to start yelling at you, I'm going to roll it. <laughs> Every that time is what happens. I, every time I go to look at chat, I hit something. <laughs> All right. All right, now this is a pretty strong river down here. So I'm going to try to find the good part. We're having this much difficulty with an empty trailer. All right, those logs on the right you can pull on. All right, come on. Here we go. I'm on some flat land. Yeah, yep. you can winch on those. Come on. No, come across. I'll have you go across because I think I'm going to be able to just power, power through. Oh, it. you think you're going to just, you're just going to sanic through, huh? Yeah. Follow the airport truck. I'm on my way to Delta Airlines. Well, I'll fill it up so it can sit on the runway for eight hours because they have no pilots. <laughs> <laughs> this is Delta Airlines. You've just uh, rented that seat at eight hundred dollars. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the trailer's just gonna float away. Yeah. <laughs> pathfinder. Me Pathfinder. It's called a Pathfinder. I'm finding a path. I'm not weak to strong rivers. I'm weak to strong women. Get it right. Here we go. Turning right. Yep. Why is this trailer sitting out here? Is this somebody's jack shack? What is this? Good question. 
Add somebody to pot smoking trailer. They sit in there and just, you know, smoke a little pot. They get on that electric lettuce. They get the devil's cabbage in them. Them jazz cigarettes. Mm-hmm. They do the Charleston. They corrupt yeah. the young folk. They're, they're jewelers, to be sure. They are real chiselers and rascals, sir. All right, come on back around. Okay, we're doing it. They said it couldn't be done, but we believe in stupid. Now, this is not the optimal path for these vehicles. Nonsense! We've made it. Are we there yet? <laughs> we are almost there yet. Uh-oh. Yeah, no, nope. I'm, I'm good. Just, just had to switch. through it. Had to switch to low gear for that. Just having some Sanic. No, wait, wait until we get to another piece of concrete. This thing is scary fast. It should not be this fast for how large it is. The Western Star has the same problem where it starts doing galloping down the road. Yeah, and the back end cuts loose and it's it's suddenly free of your uh, authoritarian control. It's not listening to you, man. It, it doesn't have time for that. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Hit stop, and we're gonna, I'm going to refuel you. All I'm right, only 20 gonna gallons refuel. down. I'm going to refuel everybody, okay? We're going to give you fuel, and then... I'm going to repair you, any repairs you need, and any repairs I need. So there. All right, good. There's some repairs for you. See? All good. <laughs> yeah, it, it'd just float down to the next set of locks. It's fine. All right, so I've got my lights on. Oh, so you yeah, can yeah, follow yeah, yeah. me. Well, I've always got my yeah. lights on. I've got my blinking lights on. Das blinking lights. Watching astounded das blinking lights. Hey, I'm I'm clearly the Beavis, not a butthead. Check it out, Beavis. It's a truck. <laughs> 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 I do a better Beavis. You do. Uh, I I can't do weird, either. I have I do a better Beavis, which is weird because I have the deeper voice. But it, yeah, I've watched a lot of Beavis and Butthead uh, as a kid and as an adult. But you know, like <laughs> check it out, <laughs> you said log, <laughs> fire, fire, fire. <laughs> you everyone, know, everyone, yeah. I don't know that I've seen any Beavis and Butthead in the last like fifteen years. Uh, they recently put it back out, and it's on Paramount. And I saw um, that they, have, they haven't. Paramount. They haven't skipped a beat. It's just the same stupid, but more. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's it's just like uh, Mike Judge going, I'm going to do what I want. Yeah, I understand that now uh, Now they respond to YouTube videos instead of MTV. Just the same thing. Um, there's one where they're sitting there watching ASMR, and the lady's whispering, and they're like, check it out, Beaver, she's really, really quiet. You know, I mean, they're just, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay. Um, it's good. Oh wow! There's a deep hole here. That's a big one. That is you found that it? is dangerous. I found a hole. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, pull the truck through. <laughs> somebody did say that we were uh, headed for a deep crater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Found it. I'm going through. I'm pulling through. I will not be stopped by fucking water. Mm. I don't even believe in drinking it. Yeah, that one does look pretty deep. Nope. Not today. <laughs> Do you I'm need getting help? there. No. I refuse any notion of help or vacations or the existence <laughs> of things like stuff that scares me that I can't explain. You know what we I, could I have tried to do? Huh? Is we should have just driven your truck onto my trailer. I refuse. <laughs> I refuse to be party to this. I'm getting out of here. I'm pulling through. 
probably doesn't help that I have a billion. I have a swimming pool of gas in the back of this. But all right, we're through. Let's go. Well, that just means that you got that little extra. You know, it's like kids in the school bus rocking. All right. I suppose. Oh yeah, that'll stay above my snorkel. We're fine. All right, so there's another there's another bad one up here. By bad one, I mean real bad. <laughs> Worse than this? Yeah. Cool. Like what what truck in the stock game could get through this? Cuz we're both in DLC trucks, right? I don't know. But uh I'm I'm willing to bet not many. All right, I made it through, but that was rough. All right, I'll wait for you here. All we have is to turn left now. We're almost to the next map. <laughs> All right. Homemade right. mac and cheese. <laughs> Check it out, Beavis. It's a truck. Am I going to stock in truck? Through. I thought this I was DLC. And <laughs> just see all the trees pulled down. Don't you dare say that that was like me. That could have happened any time. By anybody. Anybody could have destroyed that, those trees. Anybody. Anybody with a fuel truck could have destroyed those. Fuel is very heavy. I'm leaving. Well, I will tell you, you're not coming back through this way. No, no, we've ruined it. <laughs> we've absolutely ruined it. Well, time to leave. It's not a truck. It's a convoy. Oh. All right, we've managed to make it to the next map somehow. And now you we did. have to I'm go get... I'm still taking a wide turn. It's it's all right. I'm, I have to plot out a... Uh, I have to plot out a... A course for us to take that doesn't kill us. <laughs> in theory. <laughs> I was dragging, like, five trees behind me. You mean you're helping improve the state of the roads? The state of Michigan, I'm sure, will will give you a medal. They'll just say that man <laughs> no, cares gonna much give about us infrastructure. Thirty five hundred dollars when we do this three more times. Wow, three more times! Holy shit, they must love us. All right, so we need to go to the abandoned drilling site and go pick up whatever horrible thing in the deep they found. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We got it. You want to fuel me up while we're sitting here? Yeah, I will. I'm going to refuel your shit. I'm going to refuel my shit. Oh, and then I'm going to refuel there. There we go. We are 100 gallons of fuel down from where we started. <laughs> we have a confluence zero. Here we go. All right, I'm going this way. We're going this way. Almost made a mistake there. Eye break. I'm about to have an eye break. I'm about to break this truck into the wall. Oh, God. All right. No, I'm good. All right. Going around the turn. All right. My eyes are closed. Don't do that. Okay. You. That's not an eye break. I don't think there's a close eyes redeem. <laughs> Redeemed close eyes while driving. I was going to let chat command me. I don't know how they would have since I have to read chat. Did you go left or right? I I continued down this road, which is to the right. Bare right. Okay, because the road goes both ways. This was a, a Y intersection.
Mr. Tex, did you watch the B-21 Raider reveal? I did. It's a newer, bigger triangle, but I'm going to say this. Actually, uh, it's slightly smaller than the B-2. Listen here. Newer, bigger triangle, comma, in price. And here's... <laughs> here's it's always going to be newer, bigger, and better. Uh, but here's, here's the thing I have a, a point of. I want my money back, and here's why. I'm not, I'm not trying to make a political statement at all. I want my money back. It's a stealth aircraft, and I can see it. I feel cheated. They should have come out with just, like, the landing gear glued to the ground. That's what I would have done. I would have just <laughs> had that and then, like, been like, the stealth aircraft. You're not I would have done to some too close. I would have had some optical illusions like bird shit hanging in midair, you know, next to it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it'd be great. Oh, Jesus, you're all the way down there. Uh-huh. All we got to do is finish the... I thought you said this thing was Sanic fast. Come on. It is Come on, when, buddy. when the trailer's not whipping off every tree and light pole. You said, you said it doesn't take damage. Come on, bring it. Put foot to floor and put regret behind you. Okay. Foot to floor, regret behind. Yep. We're we have doing to get this. these people. We have to get these people their drilling equipment because, as you know, Michigan is very big for drilling. Okay, here's some, uh... I'm at a sawmill? Uh-huh. Am you're I at a sawmill, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna need to follow that road around the sawmill. Why Why have you gone that far into it? You no, know, look on the map. Keep going west, <laughs> young man. Keep going west. You're going you back to where you started. You didn't any direction. Well, I it thought you said you could keep up. the floor. I put foot to foot floor. To floor. All right. Well, just turn it around and foot to floor through that guy's meth jack shack. Don't worry about it. It's just some guy's place, you know. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> 12 damage to engine. <laughs> 12 damage to engine. That's not good. Damaged engine. I am stuck. Nope, nope. That damaged engine got us out of there. How much? Uh, how much repair you got left? Uh, probably, probably a bit. Probably a bit. Right. We're doing. Uh, we're doing. Fievel goes west. Then taking the turn. Someone forgot to mention. Well, I'm sorry that you you have blind faith in directions. Now, how about you come down the road and I'll fix your car? That doesn't need fixing yet. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Only a little bit of, you know, bent fan blades, whatever. Well, yeah, all you got to do is knock some of those out and it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to take an equal number from each side. Flawless I agree. Your trucking God, thank you. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> just come, come on down. It'll be fine. It'll, it'll be just fine. I'm following the street lamps. Is that correct? I don't think this is correct. I. What do you mean? I oh, hold on. Yeah, if I have to check. You're up there. No, no, forget it. Don't worry about uh, no. me. No. I see you coming down the road on the map. Now, I'm just wondering if you're desynced or in a different continuity of time. <laughs> because you have gotten that lost before. I have. We have accidentally right. been playing different games before. All right, so let me just pull up, and I'll fuel my truck up, and I'll fuel your truck up, and then we'll repair it. We'll just repair it again. I'll repair my truck, and then I'll repair... God damn it, your truck. 
There we go. See? <laughs> I have 87 repair left. <laughs> oh, damn, 87. you swifted yourself. Yeah, I did. Yeah. All right, here we, here we go. <laughs> All right, and I'm rolling down the road. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we need to do. Let's hit pause for a second, because we need you need to turn right, turn right, turn right, go down that road, down the end of that road, down the end of that road is the abandoned drilling site, and that's where we need to go to get some of this drilling stuff, and then we have to deliver it to the warehouse. So come on, you can do it. I know you can. Go down that drilling site. Yep, you're gonna go down that road. You're gonna go down that road and have a good time. Just, just very gently go down that road. Yeah, I, I see. I see the loading zone. Why would we be grabbing drilling equipment from the abandoned drilling site? Seems I don't know. Seems like we should I deliver mean, things from the warehouse to this site, right? Yeah, but I guess this is just cleanup. I don't know. No, corporate expansion. So, hold on. This zone is where we make the drilling site good again? I mean, I don't I don't know what the long-term plan is. I think this might be just write-off, you know what I mean? I would write this shit off. I would say that some Russians came by and took it. And then I would bury I mean, it. I mean, I this is Michigan. That's kind of a problem to say that like a foreign country came in and took something. You know what I mean? This is Michigan. Hey, uh, Mr. Tex. Yeah. The bridge is out. Uh-huh. All right. Taking the long way around. Well, you said this thing is good. You can do it. All right, so I'm just going to sit here and sit in my truck and enjoy it. Yeah. I uh, I do dislike the arbitrariness of what you can winch to. It is a bit dumb. I've, I've always found that a bit dumb. It's like I've actually winched trucks out of being stuck in real life. I would absolutely tie off to that bridge above it. That thing is fucking solid. I'm not going to break it. Who knows, man? Who knows? We're here to fix the infrastructure. It could be made out of plastic. It couldn't even be... It could be a 3D printed bridge. It could. We're having a good time. All right, so I can get across with a T uh, with an empty trailer. We'll see if I can do the same. This isn't a drilling site. This is a fucking mob body dump site. What do you mean? How do you know that? You don't know that. How do you know that? It's a thing. Look at that. Just look at it. Like, there's a 57 Chevy in there. Look, and sometimes... Got, hey, hey, Tony, you know, he said... Jimmy this is where I want, I want you to drive the car down to the hole. He didn't call it a drilling site. He said, just take the Chevy down to the levee when the levee is dry, and then he would wink. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you know, the Mythbusters should have done the ground penetrating sonar here. Not at the uh, the hump on the 25th yard line of whatever fucking football field that's supposed to be. It, look, it's it's a thing. Don't worry about it. Just go to the warehouse. All you have to do is come back the way you came. Go yeah, past just the gotta sawmill. Go all the way back. Oh, no. Oh, I have to carry the giant weighted down trailer. In fact, you should be doing it faster this time. <laughs>
Look, it's just the hole in which you throw problems. Johnny Hoffa is Michiganite cousin. Yeah, good old Johnny Hoffa. No, so uh, Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks. They got they got sonar set up on their boat finally a couple of years back, right? Yeah. And they're like, hey, uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go test out the sonar on this lake by us, by my jurisdiction, and uh, we're you know if we find anything interesting, we'll we'll give you a call, right? Yeah. So. I'm docked up with my lieutenant, who's the leader of the boat team, when they said that. And I'm talking to him, and not even not even five minutes later, he gets another call. And he answers it, and they're like, uh, hey, so we put in the water, and at the boat ramp, before we even turned on the engine, we found three cars. We need you to come down here. <laughs> We solved the murder and two missing uh, missing stolen vehicles that day. Jesus. Yep. Fun times. That sounds like good fun times. Oh, yeah. Just nothing like making your shift longer, right? Yep. Deputy's like, hey, sitting there going, oh, I, I hope they don't find all the bodies that dumped for Tony there. Now, Tony Don't always wants it. to go bowling. Fucking Tony. Hey, Tony. Or no, that wasn't the... What was the cousin's name in GTA 4? Oh. Because uh, the Ballad okay. of Fat Tony was Tony, right? The yeah, Ballad, the Ballad of, of Fat Tony? Tony was Tony, and that was actually... No, Ballad of Gay Tony. That was a good, that was a good one. That was yeah. actually a really good series of missions. It was much better uh, than left. the uh, actual game. And then there was, uh, okay, so you had your, your cousin, you're the cousins, like, Nico Bellic and Roman. Roman, yeah, yes. Fucking Roman. And all he would do is be, like, a very codependent person. He had to call you every five minutes or be with you. And then mm -hmm. he was, like, deputy, no, I said turn left, like, you're left. Not, like, left as in west. <laughs> not as in literal map left. No. Then why are no, you not sitting over here? Just to make sure you don't get past me. God damn I stopped it. to make sure you took that turn, and I've sat here ever since. I, I'm swifting myself again. That's fair. You guys. You guys. Deputy, come on. Why, we got it all the way here. Why is it stuck now? I'll, I'll get us out of this. Don't worry. You know, usually when I say don't worry about it, I know it, I know we're in trouble. But when you say don't worry about it, I'm not certain. Because <laughs> I've said don't, I've heard you say don't worry about it, and then I've seen Tippy Truck spin off into like eight dimensions of broken. I've just got to get around this uh, immovable stump. Thank you for illuminating. That does make it better. Yeah, I just turned the truck around just to see. All right, All right. so I see. So no, uh -huh. here's here's where we're at. It's all right. I got an idea. All we gotta do is just winch it around. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna just head right back down this road. No problem. And by that, I mean perhaps slight problem, but we'll get to that in time. Just yank that son of a bitch around the corner. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. Oh, oh, God. Uh, trailer's a little bit tippy when it's not attached to anything. Why have you done this? <laughs> Maybe, maybe I do can I... do this. Okay, so we've managed to get this all the way over here. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. All right, I'm just going to just back this up. Hold We're on. just going to back it up. No, no, I got this. 
No, no, no. I'm just I'm just throwing my truck into reverse here. Help you out there, buddy. Don't worry. We got this. Uh-huh. We we got this all the way here. I'm sure nothing bad happens. Oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Why have you done that? I'm trying to pull it close enough that it recognizes that I can attach to this. All right. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to back into it to prevent it from tipping. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, there. Don't worry. I'm just using the fuel truck as a chalk. <laughs> Trailer this is, is in too the safety far away. Manual. This is in the safety manual under don't do it. <laughs> All right. We're good to go. Oh, that okay. should not have worked. Did you see the way it shook? <laughs> I don't like that. All right, I'm pulling you. I'm pulling you. We got this. There we go. Fuck yeah. Brute force corners. Damn, we're in a tight spot. Damn, we're in a tight spot. We've used about three... We've used a swimming pool of gasoline. <laughs> 69 gallons. Nice. 57 gallons of flavor. Have you ever noticed that Heinz sauce always tastes like... You know, whenever you said Heinz 57 and people are like, Oh, it's good. You know, I realized Heinz tastes like someone took all the leftover sauce of the table and just put them in a bottle and shook them. Yeah. I don't know what's in it, but I know it's not one thing. So you know how Dr. Pepper has for eternity been 23 flavors, right? That's what they say. 23 natural flavors plus like ethanol and gasoline and cocaine <laughs> or other stuff. Right? Yeah. So I, as a kid, for some reason, thought it was 27. And then oh. when they changed the label, they also went to using um, corn syrup instead of real sugar in their recipe. This was like 2004-ish. I was, I was certain that the changing taste was because they lowered the number from 27 to 23 flavors. <laughs> You're like, they took four. Don't <laughs> never let them forget what they took from you. Exactly. Learn the truth. Wake up, sheeple. I will say it tasted better before. But, uh, yeah. Pretty much, hundred percent. That's that's what it was like. Heinz Fifty Seven Jungle Juice. <laughs> uh, water break. Oh yes, water. The um, thing we love so much. All right. I'm gonna turn right. We're gonna turn. Ow. <laughs> We're gonna turn right. I was thinking just gonna about turn water right. break. As you know, the eye break and water break always very helpful here. You know, I think I know what game you should play, which is Surgeon Simulator. I would love to play Surgeon Simulator on stream. There's a Do VR version that is apparently not particularly good, but I would still like to try it. I think just watching you do VR things would be nice. I was, I'm so disappointed in how bad LA Noir VR is. Yeah, it's not good. It's it it seems like scrapped ideas that were put together. Yeah. Which, considering I think the collapse of Team Bondi as a studio might might just might be, have contributed. Hey, this yeah. yeah, this is just these were some ideas that they had, and I think they're okay. But it oh is god, awkward. I'm sinking. Uh oh. No no no. Okay, here we go. All right, so we need to just go up it here. It drifted a little bit off the right of the road. Uh-huh. It drifted a little bit? Yep. <laughs> On its own accord. I had nothing to do with it. You can't prove otherwise. It just drifted a little bit. I, I do need you to halt for a second. Because uh -huh. I'm not taking these very well these sharper turns especially between these two bridges is a son of a bitch there we go alright I'm with you we can go alright 
It says there's a side mission here with this truck, but I have no idea what they want us to do with it. They want us to take it to the farmer's house. Where's the farmer's house? I don't know. See, you're, you're talking about Rusty Legacy? This is a farmer's house. Oh. We gotta go so find like... his fucking Chevy 1500. Oh, alright. Well, I, I won't be doing that. Yeah, he, he, he can, lost his base model fucking Sierra somewhere. He's like, well, I know it's a flood car, it'll never run again, but fuck it. Well, okay, but he can go to Craigslist like anyone else. Yeah, on that topic, guys, if you didn't know, every time a major hurricane rolls through the south, across the country, there's a whole bunch of cars that show up really cheap on Craigslist, and those are called hurricane cars. Do not buy those. All right, turn they right, may, turn right, stop, turn right. You're going to go down that road. They may work for now. They will not work in a year. Hurricane cars are fun. A friend of mine had a Lexus. He bought as a hurricane car. Yeah. Normally a $30,000 car in the year by the year he had it. Mm -hmm. uh, it started as like a $50,000 car. It was about a $30,000 car by the time he he bought it. Yeah, But it had been in a hurricane. Yeah, but it had been in a hurricane. So it was a $4,000 special and they're like oh everything works great and that car worked okay for about six months why did you send me developed. down here you, know, you got to go down that way you got to go to the warehouse this is not the warehouse isn't it this is the trailer store right well, yeah turn left the warehouse is at the end of it oh it it set me onto that fucking pickup truck one. Oh well don't worry about it yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, there's a little sign here that says warehouse. I don't I don't I don't like to read either. I I think it's dumb. I just floor things and yell. It makes me feel better when I drive a car. Yeah, I mean, makes sense. Why would you connect the winch to that? How will that help you? Do you need help? Now. Do you need an adult? I am all the adult I need. So far, it looks as though you're running out of... Uh, Alright, you know what? I'm coming this way. I'm going to help. I'm here to help. I'm a helper. It looks like I'm running out of what? I'm here I, I'm here to help. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you. Also, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, why does this state... I don't think Michigan's ever flooded like this. Uh, if, Except if maybe they on, did, the rest of the country's also become an ocean. Wouldn't you think, like, this This wouldn't... I mean, if it's this flooded in Michigan, wouldn't this be Lake Superior or, you know... I mean, yeah. Isn't this one of the Great Lakes well, at this I, point? I think, yeah, this would be Huron, right? Or Yeah, but I mean, wouldn't this be a Great Lake at this point? If it's this much flooding in Michigan, it wouldn't it? It would. We have done I mean, one they, third of what's required of us. I think they would have just said Lake Michigan got bigger today. I don't think they would have <laughs> said it flooded. I think they would have just said Lake Michigan decided to come inland some, you know, just a little bit. Yeah. And just decided to have some of the state. And, the, you know, the state's wondering whether or not they can leave, you know, Michigan in, in the hands of King Neptune. Okay. More to follow. So I have a question for you. Yeah. There's a sideboard. Ah, it's a semi trailer. Ooh, there's a fuel carrier hidden in the woods we can refuel at. Oh, cool. There's a couple a of hidden them. fuel. It happens. I, I think one of those <laughs> I may have stuck somewhere. There's a third uh, one. You know, I've there's, dropped a few things. A fourth one. I get frustrated when I'm pulling things sometimes. <laughs> all right? Look, let's let's not just judge who stunk what fuel trailer in the woods. There's plenty of fuel trailers to choose from. That's what's important to remember. So, uh, okay, I was going to say, if any of these trailers are normal 4x4, four four, actually, yeah. Come pick up a, uh, number one, we'll refuel at the 5th Scout fuel trailer uh -huh. at the trailer store, and then pick up a sideboard 4x, and we can 
solve this one uh, in one Here's more Here's the trip. question. Here's the question. How much more time do we have to stream? Uh, none. Fuck. All right. I was going to say, perhaps for next time, we could get more audacious. I'm just going to leave this fucking trailer here, then. Fuck it. Oh, yeah, no problem. Just leave trailers in, on my map. That's what everyone does. Everyone just parks them in the woods. Not all of those are mine. Some of those are mine. Half of those are mine. Da -da -da. Jackknife accidents are virtually inevitable once the trailer exceeds 45 degrees. Well, thank you. Thank you. At the point it's jackknifed, you're jackknifing. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. So, <laughs> Dad, tell them what's coming up next. Trailers. We've got <laughs> Cooking on the Rim coming up next, as I recall. Indeed, indeed. And remember, uh, Magistrata Mundanus, new episode out. Charger, soon. And further than that, uh, I'll be playing probably Dwarf Fortress tomorrow. So you can see that on the main channel. But you guys stay safe out there. And Depp, take us out. All right. Y'all have fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Johnson. Oh, I flipped it. Oh, God. <laughs> they are trapped by this system. Oh, this Jesus this is peak theme park. They can't leave. Impalas glued together. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a lot of impalas. <laughs> okay. All right. So, depending on how oh, this car goes. Christ. All right. Oh my God.